Welcome to Jesus Inside Prison Ministry presents Jesus House with Dr. William Bumpus. We are providing a strong foundation in Christ and preparing men for a successful future. And now, here's Pastor Bumpus. Praise Jesus and welcome to today's program. I am Pastor William Bumpus and I'm your host for JIPM Present Jesus House. And of course, we come here each week, same time, uh, with an exciting program talking about what God is doing inside prisons and what he's doing in our reentry program called Jesus House. We have an exciting program for you this week. We have a guest on uh, that's going to be sharing their testimony on how uh, they met Jesus Christ in prison and what Jesus Christ is doing in their life now. I always like to highlight that. It's one reason, one way uh, people meet Jesus inside prison, uh, but then it's always good to see what is he doing in your life now? You know what I'm saying? Was it real or was it just jailhouse religion? Well, on this program, you'll learn that it's more than just jailhouse religion. You'll learn these men actually got born again. They're still living a holy life and living their life for Christ, which means that the gospel is real. And so I want to encourage you to stay tuned for our this half an hour program. Uh, it will tremendously bless you. Let me say also that uh, we have a church, which is 1634 East Minnesota Street, Faith Center Church International. I want to invite you to any in and all of our services. Our service are Sunday mornings at 1130, 1115, 1130. Uh, so I want to invite you there. We also have Wednesday service at 7 p.m., at 1634 East Minnesota Street, and also our men's meeting uh, every Tuesday is where I teach at the Jesus House, which is 3402 North Schofield. Want to get that in? Make sure you can tap into us. Let's have a word of prayer as we go into today's pro program. Father, we thank you and praise you for this program. Thank you for those that have tuned in. Uh, I pray for our guests, Lord God, that you give them the right words to say. Give me the right questions to answer. We give you praise, glory, and honor for, for everything you're doing in JIPM. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, stay there. We'll be right back. This week's offer is my personal testimony, You Can Be Set Free. There's about 200,000 of them in print. That book tells you about how I lived a life of crime, arrested 23 times, and didn't believe in Jesus. Then one day in jail, I heard the gospel, and God changed my life. This book tells you all about that. Write in today for your personal copy, any size donation to JIPM, P.O. Box 88489, Indianapolis, Indiana 46208. Let me offer you this week, not only my book, You Can Be Set Free, but we have two other specials I want you to have. One is called Healed of Cancer. That's my story of how God healed me of cancer. And it also gives you a glimpse how you can believe God for whatever you're going through. And also my comic track called Blind No More. That's my story in a condensed form, and I want you to get it. So feel free to write us. It's absolutely free in Jesus' name. This month's special offer is The Secret Nation. Uh, this right here talks about the secret nation or there's a nation that are, in, that are inside prisons. In the United States of America, there's over one million folk that are incarcerated. Uh, and then you take those that is under the supervision of the Department of Corrections, and there's over five million people that's affected by the judicial system here in the United States of America. That is a whole nation. So this book talks about that. So write in, get your free copy. Amen. Uh, glad you tuned back into today's program. I'm glad you stayed tuned to today's program. I'm Pastor William Bumpers, and you're watching JIPM present Jesus House. Of course, this is a program we come on each week and uh, we talk about how God, what God is doing inside prisons and what he's doing at uh, Jesus' house. I have an exciting guest for you this week, uh, and he is a former resident of the Jesus' house, uh, and his name is Jay Orpert. Welcome to today's program. Thank you, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Bless. Your name is who? Jay Orpert. Yes, sir. Spell the last name. It's uh, O R P U R T. Okay, O R P U R O J Arpert. Yeah, that's, oh, oh. that's it. <laughs> I call him Brother J. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey, Brother J. Uh, uh, when did you when did you when did you get born again? I got born again my uh, second time uh, out of prison. Which uh, yeah, I was a baby Christian going to church. I got married and uh, things didn't go well, of course, and. I didn't know then what I know now, but the power of my words. Mm -hmm. I was saying a lot of negative things about the marriage and mm -hmm. 
it uh, fell apart, and I ended up going uh, back to prison for my, okay. my third and final time. So, okay. Yes, sir. So your third time is when you really, were you rededicated or you got born again? Yes, I rededicated in uh, my last time in prison. Okay. Uh, where was that at? That was at Newcastle, uh, Eldorm is the uh, yeah, outside Yeah, Eldorm, dorm outside where, dorm. Where Jesus Inside Prison Ministry was coming every Saturday. And, mm -hmm. uh, I got back into that and met uh, a lot of good, a lot of good brothers from the Jesus House, and I heard a lot of good things about it. And uh, next thing you know, I was on my way there. So, okay. Yes, so you came to the Jesus House. Uh, when was that? It was February 26 of 2010. 2010. Yes. Sir. Yeah. So this is 2020. 20. Yes, sir. So you've been with us 10 years. 10 years. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you think about the Jesus House? Oh wow, it's 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 amazing. I've seen, I've seen miracles upon miracles upon miracles at that place. I've seen, I've seen lives restored, families restored. Uh, I've seen divorces stopped mm -hmm. and, and marriages come back together. I mean, I've I've seen jobs that people aren't supposed to get mm -hmm. get these jobs, and mm -hmm. it's just been one blessing after another. Amen. Yes, so now are you still at the Jesus House. No, I'm at the uh, the church house now, which is called the Parsonage. I've been over there for two or three years now. Okay. And take care of the of the church grounds, take care of the church, and things of that sort. Amen. So you said you was married. You have any kids? No, divorced. But divorced. I do have I do have kids and grandchildren up, okay. up north. So they're doing, okay. They're so doing you well. ain't from Indianapolis? No, sir. Where are you from? Peru, Indiana. Okay. Mm -hmm. Peru, Indiana. Yes. Okay, so, well, how is Peru? <laughs> it's a it's a sm much smaller town. I mean, it's a lot smaller town where everybody knows everybody. If, if you if you've done any wrong, they're gonna know who you yeah, are. And yeah. That's basically what I did. I've gotten in trouble so many times, arrested mm -hmm. for DUIs, felony, fleeing police, in and out of uh, the court system all my life. There, mm -hmm. the, the probation, the the uh, the IOP, which is intensive outpatient. Mm -hmm. I've been to inpatient rehabs, and mm -hmm. I mean nothing, nothing like that works for me. AA yeah. or NA, I don't, I don't uh, count them bad, but mm -hmm. it just never worked for me because there was no Jesus. And right. Once, once the Jesus got in there, right. Was, right. things really got different. Right. Things really right. changed. Yes, sir. So you was in and out of prison. Yes. In jail and all the time, you know, for for years. Yes. Until you met Jesus. Until I met Jesus. Have, yes, so sir. have you committed any more crimes since then? No, sir. Have you been to prison? No, sir. Okay. <laughs> just, a, just a visit. Now. Just a visit. Just a visit, right? Yes, you have been on some a couple of crusades, ain't yes, you? Yes, I have. Down okay. in Kentucky and a few up up here in Indiana. Okay. Yeah. What did you think about that? Where would we go? Uh, Where did we go in Kentucky? We went to North Point. Yeah, North Point, North Point Training Center. Yes, sir. That was uh, it was truly amazing to okay. be able to walk around the yard and in regular clothes and be able to talk to to inmates mm -hmm. and share you know share the love of Jesus with them. Right. And that's what you know. I was so glad that JIPM came in mm -hmm. and uh, spent time with us. It was just it was amazing to go back in and be able to come back out. Right. That was right. a real good feeling to go in and come out. Correct. Correct. Yes, right. Yes, sir. So did you? Uh, so uh, so you were just a counselor, going around talking to inmates while you was uh, in there. Basically, yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we spent a whole day there, didn't we? We spent a couple of days. A couple of days yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Praise the Lord. So uh, what would you tell people about Jesus House? Oh If man. there was somebody thinking about it, or if, maybe they got a loved one. Yeah. If you need, if you, it's the best place they can go. I'm telling you, there's no other place like the Jesus House. I'm still. Blown away, thinking back, that somebody who didn't know who I was in mm -hmm. prison, didn't know me from nobody, invited me to come to their place, basic, free of charge, everything, you clothe you, feed you, take care of you, get you, help you with getting a job, and just basically back into a life. It's, yeah. it's just amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. God is good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> he is a great God. Yes, Amen. Yes, so you, you what, so you work also? Yes. What type of work do you do? I'm a mechanic. I've okay. I've been doing that for basically all my life. That's, you know, I know a little bit more, but that's what I've always mm -hmm. fell back into, my comfort zone. Okay. So I've been working steadily at Mechanic and back now for 10 years again. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. So how's that going? It goes, it goes pretty good. We get a little behind, but you know, we take care of wheeler mission vehicles, a lot of church, 
a lot of church members. Mm -hmm. So we do do a lot of work, and we can do it at a at a lesser cost to, to help them out. So mm -hmm. it's been a, we can bless them too, bless right. customers. So it's been a it's been a good good right. experience. So y'all 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 consider that a, a ministry basically. Basically, yes. Right. It's a, it's uh, yeah, it's more of a ministry than just. Uh, making a lot of money. Yes, because yeah. when, when they when you hand them that bill, they're like, mm -hmm. "Wow, yeah, you know, it'd be so much higher somewhere else." Right, and it's a blessing, and it, and we got a lot of new customers, you mm -hmm. know, that way. Okay, so yeah, praise Jesus, Amen. So you be in touch with your kids? Yes, I'm, yeah, my daughter's saved. She's doing good. Got four grandchildren. Okay, and I've got my son. He, Two sons, one in Peru, another one in Fort Wayne. So okay. They're both doing, they're all they doing, doing good. good? They're, they're all doing good. Yeah, praise the Lord. What's your future plans? My future plans is to uh, get married. I need, I'm, that's what I'm waiting <laughs> on to help me. I need a wife. That's basically one of the reasons I'm still right. around. Because right. I don't feel right. safe out there on my own, so to speak. I would yeah. like to have a help me. Right. Uh, that's what right. I promised, and I'm, that's what I'm waiting on. So. Okay, so you said that's what you promised. Yes. Okay, where, where, no, is no. that in the Bible? No, zone? it's not promised, I guess. But there's <laughs> well, just so many verses that say, you know, I, right. you know, a wife is a good thing. You Correct. You're blessed to be married. Right. And so, yeah. Yeah, that is a promise. That is, yeah. yeah okay. I take it as a promise. Yeah, you know what I mean? accept that. Yeah, the yeah, Bible says he defines a wife as a good thing. Amen. Amen. And that. obtains favor of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we want all the favor we can get. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. So how did you get saved in, in prison? The third time? The third time was when I rededicated. Yeah, you rededicated your life, yeah, right? Third time. Was, well, the first time, what happened? Well, every it just I wasn't I was a baby Christian and I wasn't being probably taught the way I was supposed to be taught. And but I, you I did just, pray the prayer. Yes, first I time. prayed the prayer. Okay, and, but things just didn't manifest the way I wanted them to manifest. Right. So after rededicating mm -hmm. my life to Christ, that's where you know I really felt a change. I mean, right. I was. It was a lot different. Felt right. like I felt it in here. Something, right. something better had, had come right. on this time. Well, you, you rededicated. That's when uh, uh, a part of our team was coming in there. Yes. And then they was coming in every week, wasn't they? Yes, every okay. Saturday. Every Saturday. So not only did you re, you know, after you rededicated there at, at Newcastle, mm -hmm. they came in every week. Every week. And so you were getting some teaching as well. Every, yes, sir. I was. Right. Yes, sir. So how long was you there? under the teaching every week before you got released, after you got born again. Good nine months. Good nine months, nine, right. Nine months, two years. So that gave you time for the word to really set in. Yes, sir. Somewhat, right. Yes, sir. And then you came to the Jesus house and that was reinforced. Yes. Okay. What have you, what are the <clears throat> lessons you've learned? Wow, uh, just how to treat people, how to talk to people. That's, that's the main thing is being able to listen to somebody and, and help them with their problems and Biggest thing I've realized upon myself was if, you know, if I'm going through something, there's always somebody that's saved that's gone mm -hmm. through the same things mm -hmm. that I have. Yeah. That I could go talk to them instead of trying to trying to think it out on my own. Right. That's my best thinking got me, you know, years in prison, locked right. up away from my family. And yeah. So it's been a big lesson yeah. learned. Right. So you learn how to communicate with other people and reach yeah, out. Reach out to them. Yeah, to others that were born again. Especially in the area that I'm living in now, which right. is, there's a stronghold of addiction in that area. With Correct. The, the young homeless in our area and mm -hmm. being able to go out and talk to them and give them a water mm -hmm. or something to drink or yeah. something, a little bit to eat. And explain to them about how you, they asked me, yeah. how have you gotten to yeah. the point you have? Yeah. I just turn around and look, this church right here is right. Jesus. And just, yeah. and reinforce them that it don't matter where you're at in life. There's, mm -hmm. He's always right there. You right. Know, just asking back into your heart. That's right. That's the main thing. Right. Yeah, we are in a nice area. Yes. Uh, for, right there at uh, State and Minnesota State Street. Minnesota. And, uh. Uh, it's a lot of drugs, a lot of, drugs. Uh, a lot of prostitution, a lot of uh, but uh, we have a perfect outreach to them. Yes, we you do. know what I mean? When we give out food every every Wednesday, every Wednesday. I mean, man, they be lined up everywhere. Yes, sir. Yeah. They're there every Wednesday night. Uh, and yeah. Sometimes on Sundays we'll feed yeah. them and uh, they'll come over. But, you know, we give away a, a lot of clothes yeah. to them. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else do we do? It, Oh boy, yeah, I'm lost now. Yeah, they have outreaches. Yeah. yeah. Outreach. Yeah. yeah. They get out there in the yard and preach in the yard and all yeah. that. So they they hit, they're getting the gospel. 
they are hearing the gospel. Yeah, and a lot of them will stop too just to yeah. hear the hear the music because we've been out a, a mm -hmm. lot a lot outside this summer. So yeah. and that helps too. We right. play a lot of music, and that's what'll draw them in. Right. Yes. Right. Praise God. Amen. God's good. Amen. Yes, He is. What would you tell somebody there uh, in prison or something? If you were talking to somebody in prison, what would you tell them about Jesus and how to get uh, born again and all that? Uh, what would you tell them? And Jesus is the way. He is the only way. It's been remarkable for me in coming to the Jesus house. I mean, if, you, if you're in there and you've got a way to get to the Jesus house, find a way. That it's, a, it's an amazing place that has totally turned my life around. It's, it's been amazing. Amen. And the way you get to the Jesus house is how they get there. Applications through the through their uh, chaplain. Every 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 prison in Indiana mm -hmm. has applications. You will fill out an application, mm -hmm. send it to the Jesus House. They'll review it and accept you or mm -hmm. not accept you. Right. And uh, that's when you'll be that's when you'll be notified. Amen. So <clears throat> did you get that? You you send an application. If you ain't, if the chaplain don't have one, uh, then you write to JIPM and uh, write us, and then we'll send your application. And uh, you fill the application out, and then if you are accepted, uh, <clears throat> then we will uh, ask you to come in. Now, uh, you have to be a Christian. Yes. Or at least you have to say you're a Christian. Yes. Is, and, I mean, is that right? Yes, and come directly to the Jesus house. Right. There's no day or two in between no. when you come straight to the Jesus house. Right. From prison. Right. That gives you no chance to do anything stupid. Right, yes. right. So... You come straight to the Jesus house. Yes, now, why, why do they have to come straight to the Jesus house from prison? Wow, because a lot of times the, the, your family or, or friends will so-called pick you up. And right. they'll have something with them right. to greet you with. Here, right. take this. Here, let's have a beer. Let's smoke this. Right. No, that's why you come straight to the Correct. Jesus house. Don't let any outside influence right. come straight there. Right. So we tell people that all the time because... And some guys say, well, why, why come I can't go home first? Well, because most of your crime yes. was committed at home or in a neighborhood where you know it. So we want to get you where well, you're coming straight out of prison and get you into the system before you have an opportunity, you understand, to be tempted like that. Is that right? Amen. Yes, Amen. Sir. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. We thank God for yes. Brother Jay. Thank you. Amen. You can tell by the television, by the program, that uh, uh, Brother Jay is very talkative. I know you've noticed that. <laughs> mm -hmm. By the program, amen. But uh, <clears throat> this right here is a hot spot. Uh, being on, on the interview, you understand, you run out of things to say. Uh, but we give, mm -hmm. we thank God for Brother Jay being here. And so we're going to go to our next uh, <clears throat> spot. Uh, once you check these books out, and we'll get right, right back with you. We'll be right back. This week's offer is my personal testimony. You can be set free. There's about 200,000 of them in print. That book tells you about how I lived a life of crime, arrested 23 times, and didn't believe in Jesus. Then one day in jail, I heard the gospel, and God changed my life. This book tells you all about that. Write in today for your personal copy, any size donation, to JIPM, P.O. Box 88489, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46208. Let me offer you this week, not only my book, You Can Be Set Free, but we have two other specials I want you to have. One is called Healed of Cancer. That's my story of how God healed me of cancer. And it also gives you a glimpse how you can believe God for whatever you're going through. And also my comic track called Blind No More. That's my story in a condensed form, and I want you to get it. So feel free to write us. It's absolutely free in Jesus' name. This month's special offer is The Secret Nation. Uh, this right here talks about the secret nation or there's a nation that are in, that are inside prisons. In the United States of America, there's over one million folk that are incarcerated. Uh, and then you take those that is under the supervision of the Department of Corrections. And there's over five million people that's affected by the judicial system here in the United States of America. That is a whole nation. So this book talks about that. So write in, get your free copy. Amen. Thank, thank you for tuning in to today's program. This is Pastor William Bumpers, and you've been watching JIPM present Jesus House. And uh, we've just had an exciting interview with Brother Jay. That's what we call him around the Jesus House, Brother Jay. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> and he gave you an invitation uh, for the Jesus House. And I just want to reiterate that uh, <clears throat> the Jesus House is still open. We get uh, calls from uh, 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 prison counselors or whatever for guys that have been accepted into the Jesus House. And they call us 
uh, during this COVID time, and they want to know, are we still receiving uh, uh, inmates, which we are. Uh, all during this COVID, we have been uh, deemed essential, so we've been open all, all down through. We haven't had no problems. We give God praise, glory, and honor for that. So the Jesus House is still open. We're still receiving guys <clears throat> from uh, uh, prison. So if that's you uh, and you want to uh, come to the Jesus House, you are Christian. You have acknowledged Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Then all you have to do is write us at JIPM, uh, P.O. Box 88489, send your application, or write for an application, and we'll send it to you. Or you can have one of your loved ones or your counselor go on our website. You can go on our website and download a Jesus House application and the rules, and then fill it out, <clears throat> and they can send it back to us uh, via email, or they can mail it to us, and that's how you get into the Jesus House. Uh, make sure you uh, take advantage of our book offer this, this month, which is uh, Secret Nation. We also have the other books that are available also. Feel free to get any and all of them in, in Jesus' name. We thank you for tuning into today's program. Of course, we'll be back next week with another exciting program. So this is Pastor Buffer saying praise Jesus, for he is Lord. Stay tuned for next week. In Jesus' name, amen. to admit to God because they think about what their friends gonna say and what the people gonna say. But when you he makes you feel like and makes you believe that you don't have to worry about what the next man thinks. It's only thing it's only worried about what Jesus thinks and how he is and you can change a life. You can change another life by changing your life. Because a lot of people out here they they really don't wanna admit you know that they like God and all that and they believe in him because of what their friends might think. Because they might be like, oh, you trying to follow somebody else? Ain't what you do. You do something else. Woo -woo. And it ain't all about that. It's about God. You, know? you just got to follow him. You got you to get into that type of lifestyle. It's probably going to be hard, but people can do it. He did it. Why can't we? Always going down the wrong road. Always failing. Um, just wrong paths. Like Pastor said, you went back and forth in that lifestyle and nothing worked but Jesus. And, um, uh, never looked back serious since and that's what I'm on right now and just beginning and just want to prosper and continue to do the right thing I know great things will come along with it as long as I have good people around me like pastor nothing go wrong pastor Bob is, 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 is a wonderful man he teaches us a lot of things a lot of, people, a lot of wisdom he has just uh, try to learn as much as possible from him live a better life, do my best. Be in peace, have great joy, and, and, and love people. Like he said, hate the sin and love, and love the sinner. Uh, when I was worldly, I was just like all the worldly people, revengeful. But Jesus gave me the peace to pass all understanding. He gave me the uh, ability to be able to spiritually be connected with God and have the love of God for everybody else. Jesus is amazing. I mean, there's nothing that you can't do through him, and if you submit your will to him, he can really do some amazing things in your life. And I found that out here at the Jesus House, being here with men who also love Christ and are uh, allowing the ministry to work wonders in their lives. Mr. Bumpus is teaching men who are coming from the prison system back into society, how to be productive men in society, how to be men of God. And I believe it's a good thing for men to know. You know to be a Christian man is what God created us to be from the very beginning. So I think he's doing a wonderful service to the community. You know, give your life to God and watch him do wonders in your life. You know what he can do. Stop being stubborn. Get your hands off the wheel and let God lead your life. 
And that's pretty much what I've done. I've just um, completed my parole this past Thursday. And uh, my family even wants me to come home now, you know? <laughs> so I can't, I cannot complain. God has really done some great things in my life. Thank you for watching Jesus Inside Prison Ministry Presents Jesus House with Dr. William Bumpus. To learn more about the Jesus House, to receive books by Pastor Bumpus, subscribe to our podcast, and to support Jesus Inside Prison Ministry, log on to www.jipm.org.